Okay, everybody. What what I'm going to talk about right now is, is something that's kind of come up in conversation recently. Um, what I want to talk to you about is combinations here. So let's say we have n choose 0 plus n choose 1 plus n choose 2 dot 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 and we take that all the way out to n choose n. Okay. Now, ah, I'm going to clean that up a little bit here. Hold on a second. Uh, what I want to do with you guys here is is go through and illustrate to you why this is in fact equal to 2 to the n. Okay. I, like I said, the, the reason why this is coming up is because this came up in a, in a conversation just recently and I just want to make sure that we're, that we're clear on why this is the way this is. There are a couple of ways that we can go about explaining this and the way that I normally do it in my class, okay, would be to state something like this. Let's pretend that we're going to go and we're going to order, uh, let's go to like a, we're going to do a hamburger place, okay. We're going to order a hamburger. Let's say that you go someplace and you're, you're going at night, it's almost closed and when you go there, uh, in terms of their toppings, okay, um, you've, got your, you've got your patty but other than that, you can choose, let's say, onion, uh, tomato, let's say, uh, lettuce, and you got a pickle. Okay? Pickle. I hope I spelled that right. Anyway. Uh, now, how many ways can you choose a hamburger? Okay? Well, you've got one, two, three, four different toppings that you can put on there. So you could, if you wanted, you could say, you know what, I don't want any of those, just give me the, the bun and the patty, that's it. You could do that, okay? Or, remember, or always implies addition. You could say, you know, of those four, I'm going to choose just one. Let's figure out how many ways you could choose just one of those. Or you could do four and you could choose two of those toppings. Or four and choose three of those toppings. Or put everything on. I want it all. And so right there, that gives you the total number of ways that you could buy a hamburger, okay, based on just those four, those four um, toppings there. Now another way of looking at this exact same problem, okay, is when you look in there, you have to look at onion. This is the reason I gave myself a little space there. You've got to look at the onion, you've got to look at the tomato, you've got to look at the lettuce, you've got to look at the pickles. And you've got to answer a question for yourself. Do I want onions? Now, that's a yes or no answer. So there are two possible answers to that. Do I want tomato? Two possible answers, yes or no. Lettuce, pickle. So what this is, is this is now an example of the fundamental counting principle, okay? We've got two options. Uh, there's two ways we can accomplish the first task here, which is how do you choose onions? How do you want to choose tomatoes? There's two options there, lettuce and pickles. Okay, how do you accomplish the goal? Okay, and I, by the way, these are very, very simple goals. You just got to look at them and say, do I want it or not? But there are four twos there, so that is going to be the same as two to the four. These are two separate ways of looking at the exact same idea and coming up uh, with answers to ex uh, explain the, the total number of ways you can choose that. And they are, must be therefore equal to each other. So four choose zero plus four choose one all the way up to four choose four must be the same as two to the four. That is one way of looking at it. Now I want to show you another way of looking at this. Okay? We also know, let's say that you've got, if you've got x plus y to the fourth, that for you to expand this out, what this would be, the coefficients here would be, okay, 4 choose 0, and this would be x to the 4, y to the 0, plus 4 choose 1, x cubed, y to the 1, plus 4 choose 2, x squared, y squared, plus 4 choose 3, x to the 1, y cubed, plus 4 choose 4, x to the 0, y to the 4th. Now, I'm not, I'm not here uh, at this point here to explain where that came from. I'm, I'm hoping at this point here that you have seen binomial expansion and that you're familiar with this, okay? So here's how you would expand that out using our combinations there. Now, the question that I might ask right now is what is the sum? So I ask what is the sum of the coefficients? Now, notice that my coefficients here, 
are going to be 4 choose 0, 4 choose 1, 4 choose 2, 4 choose 3, 4 choose 4. Everything else in every one of those terms is a variable, okay? Some combination of, of x's and y's. Now, if I want to reduce this expansion to the sum, okay, everybody listen to me, you know what I'm saying, to the sum of the coefficients, then what I would do here is I would go back to my expression here, I'll change the color here, I'll go back to my expression here, and I'm going to change these both into 1. Okay, so if I make those both 1, I get 1 plus 1 to the 4th. That is going to be 4 choose 0 times 1 to the 4th times 1 to the 0 plus 4 choose 1 times 1 cubed times uh, 1 to the 1 plus 4 choose 2 times 1 squared times 1 squared plus 4 choose 3 times 1 to the 1 times 1 cubed plus 4 choose 4 times 1 to the 0 times 1 to the 4th. And it reduces, reduces down to 4 choose 1 plus 4 choose 2, sorry, 4 choose 0 plus 4 choose 1 plus 4 choose 2 plus 4 choose 3 plus 4 choose 4, blah, blah, blah. Notice if you come back to here that what that is equal to is 2 to the 4th. So there are a couple of ways that we can come at this particular problem to demonstrate that this relationship is true. You can look at it in terms of like a practical example of how do I actually make choices, okay? And you can look at those choices in two different ways here. You can look at it as a group of combinations or you can look at it as this, this fundamental counting principle, this binary problem, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. Or you can look at it as more of an algebraic problem dealing with binomial expansion. Okay, I love this idea of turning those variables into one and seeing what happens, not only in the expansion, but also in the uh, in the short and reduced form. In other words, the factored form right over here on the left-hand side here. These are two great different ways of illustrating that particular relationship. I hope that helps.